Hey everyone, this is John the Net Guy. On today's show, I've got a digital multimeter here for your desktop bench top. Now, what's cool about this one? Very big, bright, easy to read display, but it also has a trick up its sleeve. It's a Bluetooth speaker and it has an app. So let's get into it. I'm gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you how to use it. We're gonna go over some samples of how you can use this thing and set up the Bluetooth. So real quick, the unboxing here. Something cool about this one is it uses all of the standard probe connections, so it's going to make it very easy if you're used to using certain types of probes. Uh, these look to be standard with the other popular brands out there. It does have a speaker built in, which is going to offer some neat functionality I'll show you here in a second. And the probes are also able to be exposed this way. If you want to take the caps off, you can do some direct testing in there. If for your safety, you're working around some sensitive electronics or things where you could get an arc across them, you can put the covers back on and use just the tips there. So taking it out of the box, we can see this thing is special already compared to most multimeters. There's the manual. There's a little addendum there. It has got a gorgeous look in the front of it here. One of the beautiful things about this is it's a clock as well. So when you're not using it, you can have a benchtop desk clock as well as a Bluetooth speaker. It does charge with an included USB 5 volt connection here. Now what's interesting about this is it's actually mini USB. I know we haven't seen those in a while. So it's a mini USB cable with a standard traditional USB A N. So to turn that on to plug it in for the first time, we're just going to go ahead and plug it in in the back. And it doesn't come with its own power source, but any sort of USB is going to work. It's got to be at least two amps. So I'm going to do that. And you can see now the size of that huge digital screen. Uh, it does have a protective film on it, so you can take that off. And you can see how huge those numbers are. That's going to be just a joy to use. Also has a small protective film over here. And that's going to have your clock, your Bluetooth capability, and your volume control. Yes, this thing has a speaker. Your standard buttons across the top are going to be volts, millivolts, ohms, capacitance, diode checking, or conductivity here. Um, it's going to have amps or milliamps, hold, max, min, and relative values. So very cool. It does have this person icon here. That's actually because it's going to speak to us here. That's one of the coolest features of it. And you can use this to adjust between volume with the dial and the range. So you can change the ranges if you were looking for specific ranges or just leave it on auto. The programming for all of the clocks and everything is done through the back. I just happen to like my uh, temperatures in Fahrenheit. So I can hold that down and you're going to see this change over here. So I can get into the programming mode here and I can change that to Fahrenheit. Now I can also change the time. Okay. Now to set up the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth is blinking right now. This one's really easy. You don't even need an app. I'm going to go into the show iPhone. I'm going to go into the Bluetooth here. I'm going to go down and it's actually going to be called DMM Music. So I'm going to go to DMM Music. I'm connected now. And now I can play any of the great music that I want right out of this thing. So it's connected as a traditional audio source. So I can play music here through the included Bluetooth speaker. But there's even more that you can do with this. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in. I'm going to go ahead and take the probe covers off on the protectors off the back side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the black into the common. And because we're going to be testing AC voltage, we're going to go ahead and put this into the voltage side. Now, I'm going to hold this thing up at an angle so that you guys can see it while I'm working with it. Now, I just happen to know that this plug is an AC plug so I can make sure I'm in the volts mode here and I'm on volts AC when I put these in here I should be able to get around 120 right almost dead on the button 120.12 it's moving around a little bit there there's a button here though that you can press I want to show you it's on the uh, negative what would be normally the negative terminal 
AC voltage 120.28 volt AC voltage 120.22 volt it will read out the voltage or any other reading that you have there on the screen. Now I'm going to switch it over to the Hertz mode here. And there's the Hertz. 59.98 Hertz. There we go. And we can do other things like again, continuity testing. So I have no continuity. Over range. Open. Over range. 8.31 ohm. So you've got ohms of resistance, which we can do on there. 0 0.78 ohm. So very low resistance. You do have diode checking and other capabilities. You do have a max hold. So I can go into any setting and I can hit the hold button. We're going to go to AC again here. And then I'm going to go ahead and test again with the probes. And what it's going to do is it's going to hold the maximum voltage when we hit that hold. So what it's going to do is it's going to hold the value that we see on the screen when I take this out. Now you can also use min and max capability here. So it's going to have the max value that we've seen. If I want to see the minimum for a drop, I can do that. So this can be really cool. Um, and we can also go to relative. So if that was the baseline, it's going to show you what it did up or down, uh, depending on if it's moved. And you can actually combine these real quick. So you can say hold the maximum value. This just happens to be 120.44. If it goes up or down a little bit, if it goes up, it'll measure that new amount. So same thing with min. If you have it here, it's going to show you the minimum value in the sampling range. Now, what's cool about this is again, it does have the ability to be used with an app. So I can bring this up. The app I want is called DMM or Bluetooth DMM. You can go through and set up an account and customize all your settings, do all those great things. I just want to use the vanilla capability that it comes with. And that is more than impressive. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to say that I'm a visitor. I'm going to allow, I'm going to connect to the device. I'm going to tap the device to connect. It's connected to it. And now I can run in and see the different values here. So right on my mobile phone, it has 120 0.25. Now I can hit that button. And it is going to start tracking this. This is not an oscilloscope, but it's going to do very oscilloscope like features. Now this doesn't have to be just AC. I can hit this button again. I can go back to DC. One of the biggest things I have a problem with every day when I do a show is making sure to charge my show batteries. I use my other multimeter to test here. And as you can see, 1.386 and I can actually hit the button and play that for you. DC voltage 1.3865 volt. So it's going to have that voltage. It's also available there on my mobile phone. Now, where would you use this? If you are trying to find out, maybe you've got a outlet in your house and you want to make sure that that outlet is working or when you pull that circuit breaker that it's going to go ahead and turn that off. You could use this to find circuit breakers. You could use this with automotive fuses to make sure that there's voltage at a fuse. You can make sure that the voltage in your car is correct. One of the things looking for or tracing electrical shorts or uh, leaks of energy in a vehicle can be very difficult. Having the data over time would be very nice. So that's one of the neat things that this will do is it'll track over time that amount. You can also change things around here. Looks like it has capabilities to do a non-contact voltage. I didn't see that with this unit, but it looks like it's available for some of the other benchtop multimeters, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we can change through basic modes here as well. So I want to thank my friends over at Zotac for sending this thing over. It is cool. Uh, very cool to have a benchtop multimeter with all of these capabilities here. Uh, it's got temperature, volume. It is a clock as well, which is something interesting. Uh, it is a Bluetooth speaker. So if you're running out of speakers in your bench top work area, this might be something interesting to check out. And this is from the Zotec company. Thanks for watching.